Your digipede. My message. All right, W A L R. Ah, I got him. Sweet. There's two things you need to know to understand the video you're about to watch. Actually, there's three. We just hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you especially to my past and current patrons. You are the ones who help me really believe I can keep doing this by supporting me financially. And thank you, everybody, for the views, for the comments, the likes, whatever. If you watch, I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, back to the video. One, when I was there with the antenna, I was decoding and sending packets using my Kenwood THD-72A HT handheld radio. Two, I also recorded the audio that that radio received, and I hooked it up into other software, which I'm going to show you in this video, to add information and understanding about how packet radio works. Anyway, let me show you this software. This is UISS. The software that actually does the decoding, the back-end decoder, is called Sound Modem by UZ7HO. And then that is connected to via a local network port here on UISS. And it just received a packet. And you can see it says hello from the Bikini State. And this is in the decoder, the actual modem. And then over here you can see it a little more clearly here. It separates and colors things so that they're clear to, to understand. And he sent his coordinates right here, and it showed up on the map. And this is a part of UISS as well. And this is the recording that I made of the pass that you're about to watch. So if we watch some more, you can see I send a packet, and it gets received by the ISS and resent, and it's colored in red. And this stuff right here is my compressed GPS location, and it also puts that on the map. Now UISS by default is uh, free. One of the limitations of the free version is that you can only decode packets that have the uncompressed coordinates. So if it weren't for me having the pro edition of UISS, uh, my position would not be plotted on this map. That's how this works. Uh, when you're watching this video, if you see me show this part right here, it's just so you can see the text. Another thing, uh, reason I'm going to be showing this is because this decodes more than my handheld decodes, and that could be for a couple different reasons that I'm not going to go into. And it's also easier to see here because on the handheld I'm going through menus sometimes and you can't see the packets pop up right when they're decoded, and with this you can. Okay, that should be enough for you to understand what I'm about to show you in this video. There it is. You're Got educated. it. Aha, that was fast. All right. Waiting around for other folks. You're digipeated. <laughs> My status messages right now. Let's see. There we go. Let's see what we got. Any messages? No? Picked up anybody? Who got somebody there? K4JH. Let's send that person a message. You're digipeated. Might have gotten it. Adjust the antenna here. Here's the deal these are all of the packets we've received so far. The first one is from N4ZQ. This is a beacon message. It's a beacon message because it contains his location. 
you can see the coordinates here. It says north and west. And then it includes a little short message. Hello from the Bikini State. He's in Florida. That's a warm state where people often wear bathing suits. This is actually not part of the message. This is a timestamp from UISS, the packet radio APRS software I'm using. This is another beacon message, and it's from me, and UISS highlights it in red so that I know that I got through. And I am also including my coordinates, but it's GPS data, which is compressed. And then I send a short message, hi. You actually may have remembered me changing that earlier from hi to CQ, CQ from FM05 Raleigh, North Carolina. And then N4ZQ sends a beacon message again, and so do I. And then so does N4ZQ. And then here's something different. W8LR, he's here. He sends a message to N4ZQ. He says, 599-DEW8LR, Jerry, Middletown, Ohio. 599 means a perfect signal. DE means this is. So essentially the message is, N4ZQ, your signal is perfect. This is W8LR, Jerry, in Middletown, Ohio. He doesn't respond right away, but another station comes on the ISS Digipeter, KC4LE. CQ, DE, red, EM63. CQ means calling any station. DE means this is, of course. Red must be his nickname. EM63 is a maidenhead grid locator. Ham radio operators created a system where there are little squares that cover the entire globe that represent a single space. So if you say I'm in EM63, that's a specific square on the globe, and you can say he must be within this area. N4ZQ sends another beacon. And then I sent a message. I sent a message to K4JH when I was confused, thinking that was somebody that came through the digipeter when it actually was somebody that came through a local digipeter, not the ISS digipeter. But I did send a cool message. Oh, it said, hi, I'm in FM05, do you QSL? And that was a saved phrase that I pre-formatted in my radio before this contact happened. And I just pasted it into the message um, form. W8LR is using a, a radio just like mine, and he probably has a phrase paste, and this is uh, saved. And then finally, N4ZQ responds to W8LR. He says, W8LR, ACK. ACK means acknowledgement. I don't know what 27 is, but that doesn't matter. He sent a message and said, ACK. Later on, you'll see that they continue the QSO. QSO just is a conversation in ham radio, and say a couple more pleasantries before they finish. And I wanted to go over all of these packets and how they work because a flurry of messages is coming through and I wanted you to know what it was that was happening. Definitely getting a lot of packets. Having trouble getting the signal good now. Just sent out a message on my own. I think I got something there. Wow, there's so many people on right now. Oh my goodness. Your digital. My message. All right, W A L R. Ah, I got him. Sweet. Well, it doesn't show it there, but he said "ack." Maybe it wasn't to me.
You're digipeated. Okay. Close to. Let's see, what am I gonna do now? I changed something. It keeps it from transmitting when there's a signal coming in. This website documents packets that are received by specific APRS systems called iGates or SAT gates. They transmit whatever they receive into the internet, and this website in particular. And this packet that was sent to me was received by an iGate and sent to this website. So even though I didn't receive it, it was captured here for me to go and check later on. Sending out a lot of messages now. <laughs> Should be where it is right here. Max elevation, 84 degrees. Huh. I have lost it. Two minutes to go. Hard part is tracking these things at max elevation on high, almost near overhead passes because they, it moves so fast at that point. It's so relatively fast. I got about a minute to go. I don't know what the elevation is. 